Greetings! Last Gunslinger3759 here with a review of the Biohazard Handforged Katana. As you can see, it bears a striking resemblance to another sword that is on a very popular TV show. I'm not going to mention it here. If you can't figure it out, well, uh, go watch some TV. Um, anyway, the, this is what you will get with this particular item. You will get the uh, wooden sword rack with the biohazard symbol on it. Uh, pretty nice stand, you know, pretty standard. It's, uh, you know, uh, black painted wood. Fits its, its uh, symbols quite easily. Uh, the sword will come in this sword bag. It's pretty, also pretty standard. Um, it's uh, kind of a nylon material. Probably polyester. It's not uh, cotton lined or anything. Uh, the sword will come with a back strap, which will attach on these two hangers. Uh, the material uh, on the auction, it will say leather. However, I do believe it is a uh, thick quality pleather. Uh, on the back, it feels uh, vaguely suede-like, um, but for the price, uh, it's, it's of decent construction. Um, hard rivets, pretty secure. Um, you know, with mild use, they, they shouldn't be tearing out at all. Just your standard spring-loaded clasp on each end. Standard buckle, fully adjustable, uh, several positions. So uh, even a big guy like me can strap it on my back quite easily. Uh, over to the Saya. Saya is also coated in uh, what seems to be pleather. It feels really nice, though. It feels, it, it does feel like leather. It has a nice leather grain to it, as you can see. Um, it is stitched, like the uh, other sword, but the, the other sword in question has white stitching instead of brown. Uh, you have white cotton wrapping on the Saya. Also pretty secure, pretty tight. Uh, it is cotton, so it will pill up just a little bit. You can see the fuzz. But other than that, there's really no issue with it. Uh, it does have a metal throat cap. Uh, it's got some nice raised details here. You know, very original looking. Nice. And now on to the sword itself. It is 1045 carbon steel. It is full tang. And I'll show you... Uh, show you the edge. It's a pretty decent edge. Uh, it is a uh, artificial hamon, so I don't believe it is clay tempered. It's far uh, far too symmetrical to be actual clay temper. But the uh, the blade itself is actually quite thick. It's got a good balance to it. Good shape. Uh, not a terribly aggressive curve. As you can see on the handle it is double bamboo pinned. The wrapping here is also cotton. It is very soft to hold. It is comfortable. Uh, it's, it's not rough on the hands at all. Uh, as you can see, you have the same accents here as on the throat cap. And then you have the same accent here on the butt cap. All these fixtures are very secure. They don't move. They don't wiggle. At least on mine, they don't wiggle. Uh, then you have the Suba. Suba also, as you can see, has, oops, sorry about the finger, has the biohazard symbol, and it is on both sides of the Suba. It's a decently thick Suba. I'm not really sure of the material. Uh, could be zinc, could be steel, could be pot metal. I'm not really sure. It states that it's a steel fixture, and it's obviously had some kind of, uh, I don't know, electroplating I don't believe it's brass. It may be. I have no way of testing it. Um, the sword itself is pretty balanced. Uh, I would recommend that if you're going to do any serious cutting with it, anything beyond tatami mats or uh, gallon uh, filled jug, uh, water filled jugs or something like that, 
Uh, if you're going to do anything such as uh, the cold steel cutting tests, such as cutting meat, meat with bone in it, I would refrain. I really can't vouch for the, uh, the metal of the blade uh, being as strong as it needs to be for that. Uh, those that would actually attempt something like that would probably realize by holding the blade that, uh, maybe not. But uh, all in all, it's, it's a good sword for the price. It's uh, pretty high quality for what I paid. Now, I am not affiliated in any way with, the, uh, with Everyday Savings. I only made this video just to show the people that are interested in it more than just a picture. If you have any questions, please, by all means, uh, leave them in the comments section. I will try my best to answer them. So that's my review of the Biohazard Katana. The uh, auction and sales information will be in the description. And thank you for watching my video. Have a great day.